Hello everyone, welcome to LEGO Utilities. Today we will make a pocket sundial. Well, maybe a big pocket sundial. We'll need for that a base 10 by 20 units. If you don't have it in one piece, just assemble it out of a few. With this size, our sundial is going to be really easy to make. Next thing we should do is a gnomon. Gnomon is an arm which will put shape on the, our tongue face. Take a stick, a hollow block, and that's pretty much it. Just put it on the adjustable block so we can later on choose the right inclination. You can make gnomons in uh, blocks with round holes, different sort of joints. This one even moves all the way around. So I have to make sure it's in the right position. Once we have our gnomon and our base, we should put the hours. So let's go ahead, start with the noon. So as you see, I put them, I leave a one space, two, three, three, two, and one. Now we can put our gnomon. The arm should start at the edge, so since it has some height here, we can put it on the third, on the third block. But anyway, as you see, it will start from the from the very edge. Now let me show you why these hours are located uh, in the right way. Have another base like this. Place my my gnomon. 12 o'clock, noon, and I put a skin where I marked every hour using a, a protractor with 15 degrees uh, between every hour, so it's spread evenly from 6 o'clock in the morning until 6 o'clock in the afternoon, and as you see, these hours are adequate to the little blocks I put on, on this face. The next thing we have to figure out is the right inclination of your gnomon. Now you have to find out what is the latitude at the point where, of your measurement and uh, make the right inclination. I'm at 52 north, so once again with the help of a protractor I can mark 52 angle, 52 degrees angle. And then simply find out what's the right inclination. Once you measure it for the first time, in order not to do it every time again and again, you can make yourself a little ruler which place at the right at the right spot will show you how much how how much inclination um, your gnomon should have. So then you just take it with you and you don't have to measure it every time. So even if we change an angle, put it here once again, I know that this is more or less my 52 degrees. Now we're pretty much ready to go out and take our measurements. However, there will be a difference between what we see on our sundial and uh, what we see on our watch. I need to make a first correction related to longitude. I'm off 9 degrees from my measurement meridian, 4 minutes for every uh, degree, giving me 36 minutes. Also take a look at the equation of timetable, which shows differences for every particular day in a year. For 28th of August, which is today, it's 1 minute and 15 seconds. 
So my sundial should be off 37 minutes from what I have on my watch. Okay, now it's time to test our sundial. You have to place it uh, north. So with a, a 12 o'clock, it's, it's facing exactly north. What time is it on our sundial? Uh, it's quarter past three. It's quarter past three. If we add 37 minutes, we should get something just before four o'clock, maybe 10 to four. What time is it on your watch? Uh, almost four. Almost four. So we should be off something between five to 10 minutes. Pretty good deal for such a small scale model. Well, uh, please subscribe to our channel, watch our other movies and join us on Facebook. Thanks for watching.